<laughs> well, I, I didn't feel so far that it was so difficult. What was difficult is actually to avoid, um, well, precisely, to avoid making it sound as if it's new for being new. Because that's absolutely not where I am now, these years as an artist. I'm trying to keep the natural as much as possible. But I must say that uh, what was difficult was not to stimulate this orchestra to be new with it. What, was, what is still more difficult, and it's normal in the process, is to avoid uh, that some person would go too much in one direction and the other would go a little bit in the other. I hate the word compromise and I don't think our Beethoven cycle is a compromise. But I still feel that in uh, ensemble music, tendencies, you cannot make it so unanimous. But if it's reasonably within this and that, then we give a product together and it, it remains something coherent and unanimous, unanimous within that. If we search too much for this, I think we end up with clashes and then you end up of giving that some people will go this way and others will go this way and then it will collapse. So what I'm looking forward with the ninth is that for me it's really the opening also of romantic music. So you cannot play the, apply to the ninth the exact same thing I had done with the, the Heroica. And yet it should start from the same way of thinking. Um, we will have quite big soloists for it, big voices, uh, big chorus from Berlin. Uh, I don't want to do a minimal Beethoven 9 just to say, oh look, our cycle has been very influenced by uh, period performance. And this ninth will be. But yet we will have to accept that this is opening up new ways and that three years later, anyway, there was Symphony Fantastique. So, I mean, you, you cannot play these so differently. Um, and so this is all uh, the same way for me and the orchestra, but for the audience who has been following. You were saying you have been following the, the Beethoven cycle and people who have been following us in the Fantastique should recognize a bit of that in the Beethoven 9. And yet, yes, the message is so profound, the dignity of that movement. And of course, it's sad to see that it's been used historically for so many different purposes, uh, good and bad. But there's a reason why something is so popular. It's because it does reach the heart of the people in a way that uh, many other pieces don't. So, um, yeah, I've done Beethoven Night quite a few times in my life. Actually, I conducted it when I was very, very young the first time. I think I conducted it for the first time maybe when I was 23 or something like this. So uh, it already has lived uh, with me quite, quite a lot.